A journalist and film critic, Steve Ayorinde, has launched a book documenting three decades of Nigerian creative industry and the players. The event had top government functionaries, former governors, royal fathers, and a host of orders from the creative industry in attendance. Our correspondent, Paul Judge, was there and now reports. It's a moment to behold as the cream de la cream of the Nigerian society bring color to the event. The book is not a mere documentation of events in the past, but a contribution to knowledge of film industry. It speaks to a wide range of audiences, students, researchers, government, film enthusiasts, film policy makers, and the ordinary person who just would want to see good pictures. 30. Three decades of the new Nigerian cinema, a bystander's verdict, is a book written by a foremost journalist, Steve Ayoride. The 182-page book, So Real, features some of the best minds who didn't just contribute to the development of the creative industry, but impacts lives in their storytelling and putting Nigeria in the world map as the second best film making. The chairman of the occasion, former governor Kayode Fayemi, commends the growth in the movie industry as he appreciates Mr. Ayorindi for bringing back memories in a book. It's improving when you watch the earlier versions of Nollywood in the early 90s and you compare it with what we watch on Netflix these days. You can see uh, even for the uninitiated like me, the quality and uh, depth of uh, what has happened in the industry. And Steve, thank you for bearing witness to history and ensuring that we do not lose a sense of who we are. The man of the moment, the author, Steve Ayoridi, tells us the inspiration behind writing and publishing the book. The figure that I walked around was 30. 30 of our most accomplished directors, 30 of our most outstanding feature films, 30 of the actors, 30 of the actresses, and 30 of those who had passed on from Ugunde to B. Bandele to Sadiq Daba, you know, to Rachel Uniga, many of them, that we can't afford to forget them. So that is the story of 30, three decades of the new Nigerian cinema. He ever hopes that the Nigerian creative industry would have its own cinema. I also hope, just like my friend, uh, may God bless her soul, Peace and Yamusigwe, did in saying that, yes, you've written this book. She wrote the last word uh, to project into the next 30 years what are the things that we need to do, what areas do we need to improve upon. And I think that maybe this book will have, uh, beyond celebrating the people that were featured, uh, also uh, it will have kick-started a conversation around the things that are needed to make us truly uh, number one globally. Veteran actors at the event are glad this is happening in their lifetime. We're making the journey and this is another threshold we have reached to push forward to greater heights and stop worrying about what awards what, uh, what are doing abroad. Let's face front. Let's have confidence in our own competence. I can only say it's creative, amazing, which is what it's all about. And that's the point I'm making. You cannot get anywhere if you are not using your imagination. Einstein says imagination is superior to, to knowledge. I love the way he titled it, 30 decades, um, um, three decades of new Nigerian cinema, okay? So that we do not get into that contraton of the, of, oh, you know, we've been making films since the year dot. I want to thank him for um, his thoughtfulness because coming along with this at this time, we go a long way to uh, give the practitioners that hope that, yes, some people are actually monitoring us. One thing that I want people to know about me that I always say, I hope I'm not sounding like a broken record. I am a Nigerian, a typical Nigerian, an African woman that love my culture, that love my language, that love my food. And I'm happy to be part of this. And for Steve, everything 
that, I'm, that I love. Steve now brought it to life, and I'm glad to be part of it. I'm even in the book, so I'm happy. Hallelujah. Other creatives pour accolades on Mr. Ayonide's visionary work and call on the government to do more in the creative industry. You'll never get enough of a good book. I think this is just the beginning, and I'm looking forward to a part two. Mm -hmm. Because the Nollywood industry continues to grow. Creativity is the next name for Nigeria because Nigerians are very creative. In every situation, we find a way out. So I'm so proud of the creative industry in Nigeria. Thank you, Steve, for you know, writing this book for us. It's our book. I think it's a great book. Um, I think um, this is documenting the, the past, the present, and the future. I've scanned through it and I saw that it really captured you know, different moments. So, um, yeah, so I, I like it. And I just want to say congratulations to Mr. Iron. It's not even about movies, because what you find is that Nigeria's problems cut across. Steve Iron Day, for me, is an amazing person, very intelligent, very thoughtful. He, he's a deep thinker. Um, I've seen this over the few years that I've known him. I think the book would be an interesting read. I can't wait to, to dive into it and, and, and really get you can't move forward without history. You can't move forward without history. And what he has done is that he has documented history. And that's an amazing thing. The climax is the unveiling of the book. <laughs> Paul George, Plus TV News.